Hey babies, it is your girl Melody Almay, and I am back with another banger. And today, you guys, I have something special, like always, but I'm going to be going to one of my good friends here in LA's apartment, and she's going to be cooking me this beautiful vegan soul food meal. And I wanted to show you guys how she prepared it, and just, I guess, just have a mukbang slash girl talk slash whatever conversation that we want to talk about. I'm going to bring you guys with me to her apartment. like Mel. I just moved out here to LA um, and I just graduated from acting school. It's the Juilliard of the West. This Cal Arts is a really good school so I'm really just ready to take over in the film realm. So when did you move here? I've been here in LA for about four years. The thing is so I came four here. Four years? Yes. I came here for two years, moved back to Chicago for a year, mm -hmm. came back. So I took like a whole year off of school and then I came back. LA, it was like becoming a little bit too much. Like I, I didn't really understand like what I wanted to present myself as here because yeah. you can be molded so easily here. Yes. So like if you don't know like exactly what you want to say to the world, like I had to take that year off to like really figure that out. So yeah. Okay, bye Shay. Let's tell them how we met, girl. <laughs> she met me i've been like following melody because she's from chicago i'm from chicago so like she's a huge inspiration to me as far as dance like i really like look up to melody for dance her confidence just exudes to your heart like when you watch her like <laughs> like her face when she dances the serve come on now so when did you first see me though so when i first met melody it's crazy <laughs> because i didn't know if she was gonna answer or not but she's so down to earth so on Instagram live I requested and she was like okay that is how we made it now that you guys got some background on by Shay my girl by Shay we're about to go ahead and what we're about to do girl we about to grow we about to grow first off why did you become vegan so the thing is I'm not really vegan but I don't really like labels um I'm whole Foods. Nah, I'm like every time, every time I be telling her, like, girl, which why don't you order this? It's not organic. It's not organic. <laughs> so you're not all the way vegan. I don't like labels, but I am well balanced. Mm -hmm. The thing about me, because a lot of vegans they can get stuck up with starch, mm -hmm. which for me is not good because I have like a sensitive stomach. My stomach is sensitive to gluten. <laughs> um, with bread, girl, that's my favorite thing. That's why when I ordered that bread bowl, you would. <laughs> Y'all, we went to, where did we go? BJ's? BJ's, that was my first time there. Yeah, that was, that was your first time there. She didn't yeah. order nothing, y'all. Like, I literally ordered an appetizer, entree, dessert, all of that. She watched I was me. like, this girl I'm like, eat. I'm like, this sis don't eat that much. <laughs> what I do, I'm just like picky. I'm sensitive. It's not me, it's my stomach. I eat meat, it just has to be balanced out with vegetables. Like, mm -hmm. I can't just eat meat. Or I can't just eat pizza. Like I have to have a side of vegetables with it. Like, That's my, honestly the smart way to do it. It is. My, the doctors used to tell me like your body's just smart. So what made you start trying vegan recipes? Um, what made me start trying vegan recipes? Honestly, Doctor Savy because he was like, y'all need to eat more vegetables, and I was like, hmm. Maybe that's why I don't feel well, because I'm not eating vegetables. So then I started, Bay, my Bay is a chef. So, okay, yeah, so we started getting creative with, we went vegan for a whole year, which was really hard, but we did it. We did it for a whole year. The only thing that helped us was seasonings. It's all in how you season your food. Because, you know, some people would like to make organic and vegan stuff, but it'd be like hella bland. Like, sis, add some seasoning. Please. So, what we're going to do today is. My beautiful Bache is going to show you how to cook soul vegan food. And if y'all yes. know about soul food, it's black people for y'all. You about to make me a drink, sis? Yes. What you about to make? Ginger beer, freshly squeezed orange juice. We got a juice maker, so. And we picked these oranges from off a of tree, too. Really? Yeah, I'll show you where it is. It's a college campus with a bunch of trees. Wow. Orange tree. And it's free. You could just go yeah, ahead and get it. You can just go and pick them oranges. So the Bombay Sapphire, that is, what is that, gin? Yeah, it's gin. Okay, so gin, and this is fresh made orange, orange juice. And this and is ginger, ginger beer. beer. Go ahead, whip it up, sis. So 
it up, pull it up. Watch my fall out. That's my song. Whatever the hell she said. <laughs> Watch my fall out. Watch it all fall out. You I gonna, don't think I created this? I really don't. You gonna give it a little whirl? But um, or you just gonna set it on top? Oh, we gonna give it a little whirl. Little whirl. Let's call it Bache. Bache. Uh huh. Sashe Alme. Hey, Sashe Alme. That's the girl. We ain't even drunk yet. <laughs> cheers to more blessings and prosperous 2020 in yes. LA. Yes. yes. Cheers. 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 Oh. <laughs> y'all know I'm not a drinker. Well, y'all don't know that, but mm -hmm. I'm not really a drinker, so let's try it. It don't smell like liquor. It smells good. Does it, it smell like fresh juice? Fresh. It's fresh. This shit is good. Is it good? <laughs> That's what's up. You can kind of taste the gin, but it's like, it tastes fruity. Like if you go to Whole Foods and you go get some like a fresh pressed juice. Yeah. This is what that tastes like. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Bache, okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Bache, what is the first thing that we're gonna cook on the menu? Okay, so I'm just gonna whip up this cornbread really quick. So. I love this brand because it's vegan. You could add two eggs to it, but you don't have to. Let me look at this cornbread, sis. It says just add eggs, oil, and milk, uh -huh. but I never add eggs. I literally just add the milk and the oil. Really? <laughs> and it still come out like cornbread. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it's vegan because you don't add eggs? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So vegetarian is um, no meat, but they still eat like dairy. Uh -huh. And vegan is like nothing from animal products. Yes. Okay. I'm glad you clarified that because I honestly didn't even know. <laughs> Alright, so I just pour the whole bag in there. And then it says one cup of organic milk. Do you measure ever? Yeah. yeah. When, <laughs> okay. it tells, when it tells me to measure, I measure. Okay. When I'm cooking, like when I'm creating something that I'm like literally creating a whole new dish, I never be measuring. I uh -huh. just do it from the heart. So yes, <laughs> that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> one cup of the milk. And what kind of milk is that? This is almond milk. Okay. I usually get cashew milk, but they didn't have any cashew milk. Almond milk works. Okay. Great seed oil. Mm -hmm. It's the best oil because a lot of oils, like canola oil, when it cooks, it becomes cancerous, actually. Like, the, the way... What? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Girl, you are dropping some gems. <laughs> yeah, like when you cook with canola oil, it doesn't have a high cooking temperature. Uh -huh. You can cook grapeseed to a high cooking temperature and it still holds its integrity. Uh -huh. It doesn't like break its chemical bonds. So this thing. girl knows what she's talking about, okay? The whole thing. <laughs> Let us okay. know. It's educate us, sis. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And it's really nutritious too. Uh -huh. It comes from grapes. So one third of a cup of oil. Alright, and then I'm going to grab all this. Okay. Ooh, whisk it up. Okay, you guys, you guys do not want to make this mistake, but I forgot to turn on the oven. Uh -huh. So it should be preheating uh -huh. to 350. Okay, we got it. The liquor is getting to me. Me too! I thought I was the only one. I, bitch, I only have one sip. I'm noticing that the consistency of the cornbread is a little bit more different. Oh, it's about to spill, girl. Oh, you mean like it's more thick? Yeah, it's more mealy. It it's is. like more of a mealy consistency rather than like a It has less, yeah, mm. it has less less flour, I feel like, and more corn. Yeah. But it's gonna come out good. Trust me. Trust. I'm, I'm gonna be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a little oil tool so that you can just spread the oil uh -huh. amongst the baking pan. Uh -huh. So, I'm gonna make actual corn muffins. Uh oh, make oven is ready. It's ready. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make cornbread muffins. And it's about to be five. Yes. It's about to be so good. Ooh, I can't wait. You know what I forgot? I forgot a dash of salt. Because, you know, I see. Okay. And I like pink salt. I didn't salt. know that. Yeah. You see that? I didn't know that. And, and your cornbread? Oh, and your yeah. cornbread? Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I add like a little sugar, but I'm not going to do that right now because yeah. I want it to be extra savory. Uh -huh. So um, I'm going to add some sea salt and I'm just looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Somewhere around here. Okay, so this is actually sea salt. It's pink sea salt. So I get my salt. It says cumin. It says cumin because we just reuse everything. Okay. Because I got a big bulk of Sea salt, uh -huh. sea salt, and we just put it in here to make okay. it smaller. So I'm just gonna, you see, that's this pink salt. Pink salt has over 90 
minerals in it, so it's really healthy for you. How do you know all this? I'm like a geek when it comes to health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a secret. Okay, let's the secret. You gotta go to TJ Maxx or Ooh. Marshalls. Cause TJ like, Maxx. If you have a pink salt and both, like if you were to go to like any whole food store, like <laughs> health food store, this would be like at least twenty five. Yeah. This was like three ninety nine. <laughs> so yeah, go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Like I be getting my seasonings from there. Okay. Yeah. Mix it on up, sis. Mix it up. Mix it up. Hey, hey. We're just going to pour. That in there, you know. I'm trying to keep a steady hand. What you yeah, say, Mel? It's okay. Some people be all fancy and doing the little spoon things. Girl, show teach me because I don't know everything now. You said, yeah. you said Get a spoon. A spoon. <laughs> it might take a little bit. Was <laughs> that little spoon? Wait, there we go. Okay, this a bit. Too yeah, cool. yeah. Just scoop it all in there. Okay. All right. It's just for presentation. You yeah, because I'm literally like a bit tipsy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna get through this. Okay, so the muffins are ready. It's been they, how long has been it been ready? How long has it been? It's been like okay. So you wanna bake them for 20 minutes with this brand, not uh -huh. all cornbread, but this brand. Okay. 20 minutes. All right. Let's see how it looks like after 20 minutes. All right. Ooh. I didn't use uh, no eggs. No eggs. <laughs> Good. So normally I will check it with a fork. I will poke it to see if um, when you pull it out if it's liquidy or mm -hmm. ready. Okay. But since I've left them in there for like five minutes over 20, I yeah. know that it's done. Yeah. It's like pretty golden brown. Yeah. So. Oh my god. It's not burnt, but we did good. Okay, so what's next on the menu? So next I'm going to fry these beautiful mushrooms. I know a lot of people have like, you know, they don't really want to try mushrooms but the thing about mushrooms is they're full of copper copper is so good for your pineal gland pineal is, yes. Yes. What about pineal? it's basically your third eye like oh. it's this yeah it's right here literally uh -huh. when you go to sleep it um, increases melatonin in your pineal gland which uh -huh. allows you to your brain to function like better so wow. so but basically mushrooms has a lot of copper so if you're low on melatonin some people take melatonin pills uh -huh. but you can actually just eat mushrooms because it actually produces melatonin in your pineal gland and it helps you sleep better that's what i was trying to f figure out what melatonin meant because i heard melatonin i'm like oh yeah. it's sleep melatonin it helps, you helps you sleep better because which is really important because when you sleep better that means your cells are rejuvenating better mm -hmm. yeah your cells are like doing what they're supposed to be doing so yeah like you need to sleep like yeah. even if you're a person that don't sleep you're like i want to hustle and i want to work nah you need to be sleeping yes. because i feel like for me like sleeping is really spiritual for me like yeah i have to like go to that other realm and like be in that peace yes like i have to <laughs> <laughs> so what did you put on here okay so i put paprika on here i put um garlic powder onion powder and salt okay i like to keep it really simple it's basically so like a lot of people like to season their chicken with seasoning salt but mm -hmm. seasoning salt has like I forget how you pronounce it but it's not good for you mm -hmm. um, so I just basically use smoked paprika okay not regular paprika but smoked okay, um, okay. Got, yeah 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 so it's a little be, smoky flavor exactly <laughs> it's gonna be fire okay so let's go ahead and fire. prepare these okay so we got regular flour sometimes we do it with spelt flour but today we're just gonna use all purpose flour okay um but the flour is seasoned as well dang what is yes. it seasoned with it's seasoned with the same thing paprika garlic powder onion powder salt let's see what's up in here oh look pretty seasoned yeah it's seasoned yeah i can see i can see it's seasoned here we season the flour and we season the mushrooms so some of y'all think y'all don't like mushrooms we but it's show you. really about the seasoning Come okay on. it's about seasoning and texture yes. that's what it's about and it's mushrooms have so much flavor yes and melody she's gonna be the judge i will i will so let's I'm go ahead and get nothing. let's go ahead nothing. and get it uh started okay. <laughs> and what are we gonna do with this though with the mushrooms we're going to fry them okay fry this is so food <laughs> <laughs> the soul. The soul. Okay. okay. That's fine, sis, because I know you're going to use that. Yes, and we're going to use grapeseed oil. We're not going to use canola oil. Okay. We're going to upgrade. We're going to hey, level up. Level up, level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Hey. We're lit. We're lit. Look at this, guys. I love life this way. Look at this. Life Almost done with a drink. Life this way is great. Yeah. I'm so excited to feed Melody. <laughs> 
Why are you excited to feed me? Because it makes me feel good. Yay, you're a blessing, sis. Oh, you are too. So you want to put the temperature on a medium. We're just going to fill the skillet up with grapeseed oil. Okay. It's so beautiful. I love grapeseed oil. It's green. That's how you know it's out there. Damn, it is the really oil green. is green. Come on now. Okay. So about a couple inches in the pan. Yes, about a couple inches. Okay, so how you test your oil is definitely not ready yet. It's going to be ready in about probably like 90 seconds. But you basically just put a little flour in there. And if it sizzles, it's ready. It didn't sizzle, so it's not ready. Oh, okay. That's a smart way to do it because I didn't even know that. Yeah. Baby, I begin. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> okay, so while that is heating up, I'm actually going to hurry up and flour these. Oh, okay. Hey, what is your name? I'm Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Shut up. Okay. This is Daniel, yeah, by K's boyfriend, yeah. the couple. Yeah, just use milk. So, basically, when it comes to flavor, I'm really nostalgic and I think deep into my childhood. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, ooh, I want to recreate this, but in a vegan way. Mm -hmm. So, like, I recreated gyros, Italian beefs, mm -hmm. but, like, in a vegan way, still capturing that flavor. Mm -hmm. And then, like, what Bay does, what Daniel does, he basically helps me with the technique of it. So, he, like, really helps me like figure out what I need to do to like accomplish that. Like I remember flavor profiles from childhood mm -hmm. and he's like take me chef. See, I wish I had that. See? What? A lot of these dudes don't know how to cook. Period. They want you to go ahead and in the kitchen. Did you grow up in a house with a lot of male people cooking or? No. My well, my mom and my dad were, were never together. Oh. Okay. So I my my dad cooked and my mom cooked. Okay. So it's not like my dad didn't cook. Like okay. he threw down. Yeah, he threw down. But right? he had a different way of cooking. Like my dad was more like healthy. Like cooking like he did like the beans beans and rice he loved beans and rice and like different stews and stuff like he's really health conscious just like you i remember when you were at bj's and mm -hmm. you ate lentils Lentil. and i was like she knows yes. about lentils yes my dad my dad puts me on like or orzo and everything yeah. like but my mom is more like soul food type of yeah. cooking like spaghetti like the black yes. mama cooking you know spaghetti so it's right. like i had all like the different styles but at, at the same time my parents always introduced me like different cuisines like thai mediterranean Indian. Indian. I love freaking Indian. You love Indian? African, like all of that. Ooh. I was like, one of those kids that ate all their vegetables and was never afraid of acquired taste. So, so I think this is going to be so good. Yay. I'm so excited. Just leaving it in there. I'm just basically doing this all together. And then I'm going to dump them in the milk and then I'm going to put it right back into the flour. And this is almond milk? Yes, it is. So you guys, you put it in the flour after you season it and then you put it in the milk and then put it back in the flour and then it goes into the fryer and how long does it go into the fryer um until it's golden crispy cooking is like makeup it's like it works different every time mm -hmm. it really depends on it's just basically until it's golden crispy it smells good does it smell already good? okay guys so my sis Vashay told me a little technique which she told you guys earlier so i wanted to try it myself i'm gonna take a little of this right here Okay, it's sizzling. Ooh, it's ready. What I want you to do is put one of those in the almond milk and then replace it back into the flour. Put in the almond milk. Ooh. <laughs> next time, put in the almond milk. Ah! I was going to say next time. <laughs> That's what you don't want to do, you guys. Pop on my damn chest. My bad. My bad. That was completely my fault because I should have told you put it in the almond milk and then put it back in the flour. Oh, okay. Yes. And then put it back in the flour. Okay. You okay? okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This shit's still popping up. Though. Yeah, it's going to take a while for that water because you know water and oil doesn't mix. So it's going to take a minute for that milk and that oil to calm down, but it's going to eventually calm down. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Get it on me. Get it on me. I like your eyeshadow. Thank you. How did you learn to do your makeup? YouTube. Wow. I learned everything from YouTube, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I'm fighting with this damn dream. <laughs> so you're going to leave it in there for about three minutes on one side. And then we're going to flip it over for another two minutes. I'm trying to move fast, y'all. Because I know this one's been in there for a little minute now. Oh, it's going to be fine. Okay. Mushrooms are really thick and tender, so they got to cook all the way through just like a uh, chicken. Oh. Yep. 
It's fibrous. Girl, you so knowledgeable. It gotta cook for a decent time if you want that crisp. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little flour on it, y'all. Just hope, you know. Okay, you're right. It does kind of simmer down a little bit. Yeah. Right. Chef Mel and Chef Bastien. Chef Mel. I'm Mel hey. So you put it in the almond milk. Yes. Because you wanna. So it creates a double crisp, extra exactly. crunchy. Whenever you put milk or egg in something that you're frying, it makes it extra crunchy, basically. That's smart. Yeah, that's how oh, Kentucky okay. Fried Chicken do it. Help me out, okay? So we got we got Chef Dan over here. Okay, got the flipping it, flipping it over. He know what to do. He know what to do oh, with have, it. Oh, should I wait a while? For what? To put more in? Yeah. Nah. Okay. We'll be able to tell the difference. 